Congressional shooting classified as domestic terrorism. And here is how the liberal media will try to push an anti gun and a mental illness agenda at the American people after this shooting. However, that's not the truth, it was a premeditated, targeted shooting against Republicans, which puts it in the classification of domestic terrorism. The Daily Caller reports a man allegedly approached Republican Rep. Ron DeSantis of Florida minutes before the shooting in Alexandria, Virginia. Wednesday and asked which party the people on the field belonged to, Republicans or Democrats. While appearing on Fox and Friends, DeSantis described the strange encounter that occurred minutes before the shooting. DeSantis said by phone that as he was getting into the car with his colleague Republican Rep. Jeff Duncan of South Carolina when the suspect approached them and asked whether it was Democrats or Republicans who were practicing. DeSantis says he was slightly perturbed but didn't think too much of it. He left at 7.10 a.m., five minutes before shots rang out. DeSantis said the stranger had no guns, he was not carrying anything at the time, but from where the shots were I would think that probably was staged. White House official confirms Trump interviewed Mueller, Trump friend, the president did talk with him in the days before he was, it was a little odd, said DeSantis that he walked up to us to ask, and then went ahead and it was probably three minutes. Five minutes after we pulled out of the parking lot, it was a little odd, said DeSantis that he walked up to us to ask, and then went ahead and it was probably three minutes, five minutes after we pulled out of the parking lot. Unconfirmed reports say that the gunman was carrying a rifle and began opening fire on politicians and staff who had been in the outfield. Representative Steve Scalise is said to be shot in the hip and was taken to a nearby hospital. Several staffers are wounded but we do not yet know how badly or if anyone has been killed. The suspect is said to have been shot and apprehended. Capitol Police returned fire, with one officer continuing to defend the field despite being wounded.